eye foot coordination is your ability to have your eyes and your feet work together to complete a task. In the first unit we did eye hand coordination with throwing and catching using our eyes and our hands to work together to complete a movement. There's many different ways we can work on eye foot coordination and we are going to go over a lot of different ways to build your coordination between your eyes and your feet. For these next activities, having a ball about the size of this gator ball would be the best. You can definitely go a little bit bigger or smaller. For some of the activities, you can even get away with using like a basketball. But when we get into actually kicking the ball, you're going to want something that's a little bit nicer on your foot, like a soccer ball, volleyball, gator ball, sock ball. You can use many different things. A stuffed animal would work just fine as well. This first activity is simply where we are placing our foot lightly on top of the ball, switching back and forth between your right and your left leg. The more confident you get, the faster I would like you to go. Remember, don't put a lot of weight on the ball because you will slip off of it and potentially get hurt. If it is more difficult, go slower. This next activity is going to be an activity where we are trying to stay in one spot, but simply move the ball back and forth using the inside of our feet. Also, we can use the bottoms of our feet. If the ball rolls away, go and get it, bring it back to your spot, and then continue to move the ball in between your feet back and forth. The final thing we'll be working on is what we call dribbling. Dribbling is moving around with the ball under our control. Light taps with the inside of your feet, stopping or trapping the ball with the bottom of your feet, and changing directions are all going to be big parts of how to dribble. There'll be more videos on how to dribble on my YouTube channel.